give uh, Stanford do to you and Julius on the inside, and how do you guys correct that? I mean, <clears throat> they were just switching everything, and they were putting a lot of pressure on the guards. So it was kind of it was kind of hard to feed us on the balls, and you know we just need to get better at handling the, handling the pressure a little bit more better. And us as a big man, like give them better, bigger targets so they can find us and and work a little bit harder to put the guards in a good spot. Had anyone else done that to that level? Um. This year so far, like I don't, I, we haven't played any team that switch like all five ball screens. So it's, like, it's a give and take, you know. We just, uh, it's not something that really bothered us that much. It's just like we just didn't get a lot of stops, you know. And when I feel like it would be easier for us if, because like offensively we were there, you know. True means we didn't score a lot, but our guards were hoping we just needed to get few sp few stops and and take care of the ball a little bit more than the game would be ours. So what is it, just a difference of not being able to shake them defensively because they were switching, there's always somebody there, or, you know, or and did that happen before you? Because you only got like five shots, I think. I mean, did, was it a case where you couldn't, you know, you get the ball because you were seeing other guys? Just I mean, not able to get free? now, like, every partial team we play, every time me or Zou touches the ball, there's two guys, on it, yeah. and the third guy waiting in, 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 under the basket to help, so... We just needed to, you know, get better a little bit about reading the game the right way, making a wire pass, and put ourselves in a better situation to score the ball easier. What's the overall vibe after a loss? Because Tommy said that generally you guys have responded really well. I mean, losing is a part of the basketball. It's a part of the game. And and for us, it just teaches a lot. Because like, I feel like every time we lose, we learn a lot. I was watching the tape for myself yesterday. I was like, oh, man. There's so much room for me to get better. So, like after the loss, it, 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 our teams always take a huge step forward, and hopefully, we will do the same thing, respond the right way, and, and make a deep run. On the defensive end, we're, I mean, you guys had been playing really well during that seven game winning streak. What do you think happened against Stanford there? I mean, we just uh, didn't execute the game plan well. You know, it was a little bit complicated. They challenged us a little bit, and and for most of the part, we did good, but like we were kind of like, you know, less some um, switches were not tight and, 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 and it cost us a couple of baskets. So we just needed to lock in more and taking care good of the game planning. But you guys have played better teams, generally speaking, on Thursday, Saturday versus Thursdays. But is it, is it is any part of it just maybe, uh, you know, Saturday is just tougher feel for, for a team with a seven, seven man rotation range? Right? No, I, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say it's because we were a little bit tired. It's just like every part of the game is hard, man. Like, especially winning on the road. Like, now every team's are like, there's not like huge gap between teams. So, like, anything can win in any given night. And we just needed to, you know, lock in and be more prepared. But at the same time, I feel like this is a good wake up call for us. And, and once again, takes every game like us, like our last game of the season. And, and approach of the game the right way and then come play the game excited and try to get a win. You feel like too, even though Zoo's obviously gathered a lot of attention uh, defensively, I mean, do you feel like teams are playing you better after the kind of start you went off to this season? You know, is, it, is it tougher to do with you like? It's tougher because like, you know, every discarding report is going to be me, Zoo, we like, we, we're going to be like always on top of the scouting, scouting report. So it's, a lot of teams focus gonna be taking care of me and Zoo first and, and making our guards play. And most of the time our guards are really shooting the ball well and they're making them pay for not guarding them. So as long as the shot fall fall in from outside means we're gonna get free. Sorry. Pretty much uh, everyone who's talked about the, the last time you played Utah was about just didn't feel like you guys were wanted to be there and had the best energy and all that. Do you try to look at that and say we can can't do that again, or what can you take from that game? I mean, that game was, we were not, we really were not motivated to play as we thought, you know, but at the same time, that game really taught us how value each part of game is and how important they are. And, and dropping games early in the, in, in the, in the conference, it just costs you a lot. And, and for us, like, 
we cannot do anything to make sure that won't happen again. Because like from now on, we know like every game we play is important, and we have to be excited to come play every single game. It's like we don't have many more games left, so we have to take advantage of what we have. You got you and Zoo obviously have been a the key going inside out with this team. On Saturday, though, you had to go when Zoo was in trouble. I think there was even times where you had five smaller guys out there. I was just curious your thoughts on that. It, you know, in spur in, in segments when you guys go that direction. That's the good the good thing about it is that we practice that. Like our practice, we we practice with five guards. Me and Zoo's out because like. The good thing about our coaching staff, they prevent stuff, you know, and, and it was not like something new to us because we've been doing that, we practiced that so, like, in a long time. We just needed, needed, we just didn't need it until Saturday game. And, and when we needed, it was good because the ball was moving, the guys were shooting. They knew where they have to be. So it was not like something new for them. It was just a part of the game plan. Um, what's the reason for the taking of the, is it the thumb that's bothering you or the wrist? Yeah, the thumb. How long has that been bothering you? Like, since our one game. And like, is it something you just have to play through or? Yeah, I mean, you know, thumb, you get healed, and as a big man, you get a ball, the crowd, they hit you again, and then start bothering you again, so you just have to tape it and make sure that you stay taken care of it, because like, you always get hit, heal, and then you get hit again. But I was wondering when you do wear the bandage, do they see that and come after you even more? Like, what was it? Possibly, you but like you have to do what you have to do to protect yourself, you know. I don't feel like, I don't think anyone's going to be that, you know, such a, a, like a bad player to try to, like, purposely try to injure someone. Because this is just a fun game we all love to do. So I don't think anyone's going to come intentionally to try to hit you at that spot, but it happens, so. Go do a little, little sprain on your thumb then? Is that yeah. But how about the rest of you, like stamina wise? You feel like you're you're all the way back after the, the No, I think I'm good. Yeah, yeah, that was a month ago, so I'm I'm hundred percent good. How much of an adjustment was it to play with that rap? Did it change anything out for you out there on the court? Mm, no really. So no it didn't change anything. We talk, just talk about Utah. What, what about Brandon Carlson, their big guy? For, like, he, he scratch you out. What kind of challenge does he pose for, for you? I mean, he's he's a good player, you know. So, um, for me, for me to guard him is a, just a challenge for me. The better as a player because uh, he's a give and take. Because like, if he stretch out and then he has to guard me again, because like I'm gonna guard him and he has to guard me. So it's it's give and take. I'm just gonna do the best, best thing that I can do for the team to win it and make sure to you know play good defense on him because he's one of their best players. So it's a challenge for me and Zoo to, to take care of him.